search, medical marijuana, sports betting, and fighting crime. Those are just a few of the priorities Kentucky lawmakers have focused on ahead of the upcoming legislative session in Frankfurt. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff gives us a look ahead. The first thing lawmakers are going to do is lower your personal income tax from 5 to 4.5%. You might recall the bill they passed earlier this year to gradually reduce and then eliminate personal income tax as long as revenue stays strong. The second big priority will be juvenile justice reform. We're effectively going to try to do three things because we know that the crime spike in Fayette County and in Jefferson County and other places, but especially there, uh, is led by juvenile crime. Louisville Republican Jason Nemus says that bill will reopen the juvenile detention center that Louisville closed in 2019 amid a budget crunch. It will also require juveniles charged with violent or serious crimes to appear before a judge. And a parent or guardian has to be at that hearing. And what the mayor's office tells us is that enables uh, the social workers to get to those, to get to those youth quicker. Uh, oftentimes they're, they're arrested and released before the social workers can get to them. So The odds are still uncertain for sports wagering, says Senate Majority Leader Damon Thayer. I am a strong advocate for it. I don't know if we have the votes. So asking me if I can shepherd something through, I don't know. I'm one vote. I lead a caucus of 31 people who are very independent-minded. You're I, very influential. I think, well, I wasn't influential <laughs> enough to pass it last year. Medical marijuana still has major opposition from both Senate President Robert Stivers and Thayer. See, I'm not for medical marijuana. I'm never going to be for medical marijuana. I'm not going to vote for it. If we have the votes for it in caucus, I'm not going to stand in its way. I don't know if we have the votes for it or not. Um, but, you know, it, I'm not going to be one of the ones voting for it. Nemus and Thayer were also asked about a rape and incest exception for the state's abortion ban. Nemus says he thinks the House might have enough votes to support it, but Thayer says the Senate probably does not. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. The General Assembly convenes in less than three weeks. That's January 3rd.